Greetings! In this video, I want to help you troubleshoot an oximeter, oxygen pulse reader that no longer works. It doesn't power on, doesn't turn on. And of course, an oximeter measures the blood oxygen level in your body. Um, there can be several reasons why it doesn't work, but we'll go ahead and troubleshoot what they are and how to fix it. So, the majority of oximeters require batteries. Usually they're going to be AAA batteries, that's the smaller ones, like this. Some are, are chargeable, but very rarely are they chargeable. So you can see there, it's uh, AAA, three A's, AAA batteries, and they'll usually uh, require two of them. Make sure you put a fresh two AAA batteries, or whatever batteries they use in your oximeter, because that's usually the problem is that the batteries run out. Now, if you've done that and it's still not working, what I want you to do is with the power button, I want you to hold it down and just press down. And I want you to hold down even if it's 20 seconds and let go. If that doesn't work, I want you to press down multiple times on the battery very firmly to see if that will get it to work. A lot of times it will. And if you've tried that with fresh batteries and it doesn't work, there's a good possibility that you have corroded battery terminals. So what's going to happen is, is a lot of times if you don't use it, your oximeter for months and sometimes years, what's going to happen is, is these battery terminals inside will start corroding. You might not even be able to visibly, visibly see the corrosion on there, but a lot of times they will be. So what I want you to do is get you a drop of rubbing alcohol this is basically isopropyl alcohol it doesn't matter if it's 70 percent 90 percent whatever you have and what I want you to do is go ahead and lightly put on isopropyl alcohol on these battery terminals go underneath it to the sides and let that uh, let that dry give it a good 30 minutes let that dry reinsert your batteries in and see if it works now I want to show you it's called the nuclear method because what else do you have to lose if it's broken right what I want you to do is take it without the batteries inside and take it to your refrigerator and I know this might seem like a joke but it does work if you've tried everything else keep it inside the freezer where it's freezing cold and go ahead and leave it in there for a good six to seven hours take it out after six or seven hours let it dry or not dry but let it warm up to room temperature what this does it actually expands and contracts the electronic components inside the oximeter and sometimes that will trigger it to start working again I've had uh, multiple ones that will actually start working after doing that. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.